Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Welcome back. Problem six dash five. So draw the shear and movement diagram for the beam. So you can see this is a cantilever beam and the loading is shown 10 kN at a distance of 2 meter from fixed end and 8 kN at a distance of 5 meter from fixed end. And there is a movement clockwise that is 15 kN at this end. So this is a fixed support. Let this support is A. So if you want to find the fixed reaction force due to this fixed support, so you have to remove it and here you have to give a vertical force that this point is point A. So if we remove this fixed support, so you have to give a vertical reaction force and movement reaction movement at this point A. Whereas the loading will be same. So by using a equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction is equal to zero and taking upward force is a positive so you can say r a is plus because it is upward minus 10 kilo newton minus 8 minus 10 and minus 8 their sum must be equal to 0 so from here you will get r a is equal to 18 kilo newton now you have to apply another equilibrium condition that sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so you can see there is external movement MA that is counterclockwise. So it will be MA minus 10 into perpendicular distance is 2. So 10 into 2, 20 minus 8 into perpendicular distance is 5. 40 and minus this movement that is clockwise, 15. Their sum must be equal to 0. So when you calculate it, you will get movement about point A will be equal to 75 kilo Newton into meter. So you have movement and reaction support at this point A. Now we will move toward finding the shear force and bending moment diagram. So you can see I have mentioned over here this is the length across the length that is X and, and vertically we will take shear force in kilo Newton. I have taken one box is equal to 9 kilo newton so second will be 18 and so on similarly downward it will be minus 19 minus 18 and minus 27 so at point a there is only shear force that is r a which is 18 kilo newton so i will start from this point and you can see moving from a to this point there is no shear for other force shear force so this will be a horizontal line clear now at this point there is this force is 8 kilo newton so you can see that 10 kilo newton is acting downward so 8 uh, 18 this is 18 so 18 minus 10 will be equal to 8 so it will be somewhere here so it will be a vertical line and this is minus uh, this is plus 8 because 18 minus 10 is 8 so it is 8. Now moving from this point till this end there is no other shear force so it will go straight and when you reach at point so 8 and this force is down to minus 8 will bring it to 0. So this will be your shear force diagram. Now we will move toward the bending moment diagram I will draw it so we will go below. So from this point till 2 meter the area under the shear force is given as 18 into this distance which is 2. Now you can see at point A there is external movement MA which is 75 kilo Newton into meter. So each box is taken as 15 kilo Newton into meter. So 75 is this point. So at point A the movement will be 75. Now from point A to point A to this till this point the area under the shear force this will be area I will show you this will be the area rectangular so this distance is 2 and 1836 so 75 and at this point this will be at this point this will be 36 so 30 and it will be somewhere here there this is 
36 kilo Newton into meter. Now you can see from 36 this area under the shear force between this portion is 8 into 324. So 36, 36 and here at this end this will be 24. So 15 and 24 will be somewhat here. So we will have this shear 24 kilo Newton into meter. Now we will join them by using a straight line because from this point to this point this is 0 degree line. So we, the bending moment will be the equation of first degree line, equation of line having first degree and from this to this it will be also a it is also a zero degree line clear or line with zero slope so its bending moment will be the first degree line. So this will be your bending moment. This is 39. This is not 36. This is 39 kilo Newton into meter. Why 39? Because 75 is this and 18 into 36 is this. So when you uh, uh, subtract 75 and you have to come to 39. So 75 minus 36 will be equal to 39. And this will be your bending moment diagram. This is shear force diagram. I hope you have now a clear understanding. Thank you for watching.